Hey friends, Kevin here with some new batteries to show you with some new interesting features. EcoWorthy did send a set of these to me so I could show them to you. First off, right on top, you're going to see there is a display panel. Now if we pop this on, it's going to show the current charge level and it is also going to have a space down here for different types of errors. If different protections like the overload protection has to kick on, it will show up down here also. So it's protecting the battery, it's protecting hopefully what you have hooked to your battery. And that's a nice feature, but where you have these mounted, you may not be able to see this. So this works through Bluetooth with an app on your phone. I have stickers covering up these QR codes. There's one for the app and there's one for the battery. And with the app up, you can see it does recognize these batteries, so I can click on one of these and it will show me the battery level. It will show me basic information. And I can come over here on this data tab and I can get all sorts of other information as far as the power going in and out of these batteries. Now batteries like this are going to run 12 volt devices. You put a little 12 volt port on here, it's going to run a refrigerator as an example for a really long time. But to show you what we can do with an inverter, if you're trying to transfer this power to AC power to power other devices, I've gone ahead and hooked this inverter up to one of these batteries just to keep this simple for anyone watching this who may be new. Now different brands of batteries have different discharge rates. With the discharge rate on these, you are going to be able to run an inverter up to around 1000 watts. Now, you may see inverters for sale, some that are 2,000 and 3,000, and I've even seen 5,000 watt inverters. You are not going to be able to run those off of a battery like this. But everything up to 1,000 watts is going to be absolutely fine for these eco-worthy batteries. So I have a power-hungry vacuum here with a speed adjustment hooked to this inverter running off of one of these eco-worthy batteries. Turn on the inverter. You can see the battery condition. You can see we are drawing basically nothing at this point. No power coming out. Let's cut that vacuum on. Now you can see it is showing discharging. We are pulling out around 350 watts on a low speed on this vacuum. It will show the exact amps to equal that 350-ish watts. And with that cranked right on up, you can see we are easily up around 1,000 watts. going to show you everything you need to know. And you can listen to that motor and hear how consistent that sounds, even running up there in that thousand watt range off of this battery. Now I am not the biggest fan of apps for anything, but I have to say after playing with these for a couple of days, this app has been rock solid. I have had no problems with this connecting, reconnecting. Anytime I pull this up, Hit the button as long as Bluetooth is on, on my phone, it finds this battery again and I have no issue with it at all. And it does give out a lot of information, information that we didn't have before with using battery systems where there was a lot of guesswork and a lot of mathematic conversion involved. This app pretty much does all of that for you. So if you have it hooked to solar panels, you're going to be able to see what you're actually pulling in in watts right on this app and when you're using devices you're going to be able to see what you're discharging right on this app and you're always going to be able to look at that nice big number and know what percentage of charge you have left in these batteries that you're using. So I think EcoWorthy has done a lot of things right. If you're looking for something with that Bluetooth control to your phone to be able to have that information all the time that part you're not going to be disappointed with. If you're going to use it with an inverter, you're good up to a 1000 watt inverter. You'll probably get up to about 1200, 
but generally the inverter sizes that you find are going to be 1,000 or 1,500. I would stay at that 1,000 mark to be safe. Everything's going to fall in line, and these batteries are going to be able to do exactly what you want them to do.